I just see so many use cases for this. Not only you just talked about, you know, airports, you talked about, you know, being in somebody's, you know, the, the Nashville bar, uh, education. I, I saw some things in uh, medical that you guys are out there in the doctor's field, being able to talk to patients, having the full on display, but having a small one maybe available in all the rooms. So your doctor can just go in instead of walking, you know, half a mile to your room to tell you something, he can now visit more people and more of their patients and interact with them one on one so much better than, you know, it's actually like a one to many scenario. Absolutely. You can beam in the brightest minds from around the world into some of the most rural and remote locations. Uh, oftentimes we, we see that children in some cases are struggling to learn because teachers are at a shortage in a lot of these smaller towns in, in distant locations. So now imagine beaming some of the smartest brains from all over the country, from or all over the world into these locations. Uh, I think that's going to level up intelligence, education, interactivity. And then on the healthcare side, I, I, I can see into the future to a place where uh, we are embedded, our technology is embedded in senior living facilities and uh, retirement communities. Why is that important? Why would holograms be great there? Well, because uh, people of a certain age, as they get, as they get older, uh, they become more isolated and proto technology will help combat loneliness, uh, whether it's through beaming in loved ones from around the world or beaming in their therapist or doctor or even having AI friendships. And, uh, and, and I think that is a, a great way to not only keep our loved ones alive longer, but keep their quality of life um, at, a, at a very high level. 